Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy HBWKS here, and today I'm going to be talking about DDoSing in Trials of Osiris. Now, this is becoming a problem in the Bungie community, and it's really getting on my nerves, and as me as a player, I've never personally been DDoSed before until this weekend on Asylum, and it is uh, November 28th when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the last day of Trials. I am going to be trying to play Trials today, but I kind of was putting it off just because of this reason. I actually got DDoS twice in one day, uh, and the worst part is what you're seeing right now is actually my friend getting DDoSed on the very first game that we played of Trials right after it came out, and um, it, it's really annoying, especially because it's the first match. I'm like, I, I would expect people to you know start DDoSing you know later on in like the higher rounds, but people just don't want to do that. They just want to get that one win like right off the bat and stuff like that, and I just like. Why do you need to do this? Like, if you're not good at the game, play the game and get good. Learn how to play Trials. That's what I've been doing. I've become a way better player in the past couple months just from playing Trials because Elimination is my best game mode. Now, I know in this thing, they kind of they kind of defeated us, but that is because we were at a disadvantage and uh, such. Um, and we weren't really planning on doing a, 2v, uh, a 3v2, and uh, they just kind of used that to their advantage and actually got the drop on us more, and it was just kind of annoying, but... Uh, early later on when I did a couple of the 2v3s because they DDoSed us and we actually won the whole entire game uh, and it's just not really that hard to actually win 2v3s but when you have people with DDoS you're kind of heated and you're kind of you're kind of frustrated so you're not gonna play as well um, but I just need to say like Bungie you need to actually do something about this make like a thing to report people if they DDoS and then have a system to where if they not to like so you can't just falsify and say that but like you get to send a video proof of these people ddosing you and then you can get their gamer tag and then they could ddos you but it has to be like a legitimate ddos um because especially because you, you you know if you lag out of the game you can say oh the other team ddos but and and it, from what i have understood when people get a ddos they don't really get an error code because i've been ddos personally and it, i never got an error code because we were on like the eighth we were on the final win that we had to get and they actually ddos us and it really got annoying really on my nerves and such but there's not really much you can do other than bungie just needs a way of actually just punishing people that do this it's just not fair to the the people that play but people do this I mean, why do why play Trials if you can't play the game yourself? Like like I said, I've been playing Trials for the past, I don't know, like through like four or five months, something like that. Like maybe not that long before Taken King ended, but because I, I didn't really want to do Trials because I heard it was really sweaty and such, and I heard it was better in year one, so I really didn't play that much. Um, and I really never had a team to play whatsoever so i mean that's the reason why but i got way better at the game you know but when you when you ddos people it's not good i mean that just shows that you're not good at the game you might have a high elo because you ddos people and it i don't know but bungie i just really need you guys to step it up and actually start punishing people that actually do this and such just just please do it i mean that's all i really can say is just bungie please listen to us please punish people that ddos and such but uh, that's pretty much from me, guys. That's all I really can say about DDoSing. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.